Howdy campers and welcome to another episode. We're having a bit of a chill day today so we're working out uh, another episode for you guys and um, we've started down the middle so we've got to the middle. Not without a drama along the way. Not without a drama along the way alright. Um, yeah so uh, after we fixed up that drama uh, on to the West McDonald Ranges it's a beautiful spot about 130k out of Alice Springs, not too far. You're right in the middle of it. And the drive out there is spectacular. Yeah, it's amazing, it really is. So, uh, sit back and uh, grab a drink and uh, have an explore with us. We're about 300k's out of Alice. And we've come to Barrow Creek. And they have telegraph station, old telegraph station. And it's pretty cool. Well built. Nice fencing. Got a wowzer of a tree up the back here. I'll have a look. I'll have a look at that. Like a jail. You're not going to believe this, I'll show you. This number two. Number two, this was the spare. <laughs> we got no spare, we're about 130 k's from, from, Alice. from Alice. In the middle of BFN. <laughs> and we're in the middle of a dust storm. In the middle of a dust storm, have a look. 
There you go. Middle of a dust storm. That's it. It's heading this way. And we have no spare. And we have no spare. Another blowout. So some really nice people, Leon. And Fiona. And Fiona. Good name. <laughs> stopped and they've tried to put their tyre from their 100 series on ours. Didn't work. Mm -hmm. The uh, the rim had the rim was too small, I think. Yeah. So they've just toddled off and we've got to wait here. And hopefully they're gonna try and organize a tire. A tire from somebody that they know in Alice Springs, because uh, their daughter's there. And uh, if not, the RACB will come and rescue us. But one we'll, or the other. Yeah. And Fiona was so kind. She made us. This is what she makes. And it's called a linen baby. And she gave us this yes. for our little grandson. Yeah. How beautiful. Yeah, we oh, really nice people and they stopped and helped and so they lovely. were just yeah too helping Leon and Fiona thank you very much you this is the last time I want to see you <laughs> Mickey Thompson <laughs> um, we, we're going to something else <laughs> I'd go a bike tire right now <laughs> A bike tyre would, would be right? great, yeah. yeah, that's it. And we just sent our e-bikes home, we could have ridden. That's it. So here's an update, two hours. We've been sitting here. Tyre's off. I'm sitting on it. And... Here we go. On. <laughs> Not happy, Jan? Anyway, so... Um, Fiona and Leon have gone off and <coughs> haven't heard from them. They're probably gone. <laughs> joking. I'm joking. Um, and hopefully they've got a tyre place coming out here or the RACV. We're just waiting for them. So that's the update. Um, we've had people. some really nice people um, stop. Uh, one guy with a, he had a, a Maui um, motorhome, motorhome. Yeah. but somebody else was driving a 79 series which was his mm -hmm. with him and uh, the rim wouldn't have been the same uh, I don't think the stud pattern would be the same and he looked at ours and said yeah no nah. so that was that and then very kind to stop very kind um, but uh, then what was his I name? I think his name was John. I think it was John. John or Bruce? <laughs> you know? John. <laughs> John. Uh, he stopped and he was just beside himself because he couldn't help us because he had a Nissan. Wrong stud pattern. He goes, oh mate, I've got spares for this, I've got spares for that and blah, 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 blah. And he was, he, he come back and he goes, oh, can I just take your spare into Alice Springs? I said, no, somebody's coming out, it's okay. And he was traveller family. It was, yes, he had a traveller sensation. Very nice man. So that's the update so far so we're just sitting beside the road we'll keep I've, you posted I've, I've done i've done my fingernails um and, and my toenails and um you know give them a clip because it's been a couple of weeks and we've done a bit of droning so you'll see that as well just you know a bit of crisscross over the road and show you exactly where we are in the middle of bfn and uh yeah just watching the traffic go past the road trains the road trains and everything else i'll just show you Pro train. Going past. There you go. So that's it. Mm. Until we meet again. <laughs> we could be here for a while, so we've got plenty of alcohol. And we've got yeah. a roast. And we've got a roast. <laughs> we can pitch the tent.
about four or five gorges that we're going to show you and uh, it's a beautiful 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 place the ranges out here are magnificent so let's go see what we can find pack our bags and get in that car leave a little note and we'll drive real far let's get out we can leave this city let's drive to the Countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside Well, here we are, Fink River 2 Camp That's what it's called, Fink River 2 Camp Is that what it's called? Yep That's what it's called This is our site, right on the river Can't get any better We're actually on the bedrock It's, uh there's a few fires around, a few fire pits, so people come here all the time. I think river's not running per se, but there is water in it. And that backdrop is to die for. So we're here for three nights, it's $6 a night, $6 a night per person. And <clears throat> there's no toilets, no showers, no nothing, they have to be self-contained and you'd probably need a high clearance vehicle to get down here a bit sandy I uh, didn't need to air down but how good is this can't get any better hey oh. someone's happy <laughs> and we're gonna have a fire we're gonna have a fire tonight, tonight. Good. Right there. there you go so there you go we're gonna have a look around the area so we'll show you that and we might even put the drone up and have a look around.
first one's almost in gorge so we're here now and uh, I'll just show you the information station Hole, 300 meters one way. Look out, 1.2 return. Not doing that one. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Nor this one. Nor this one. <laughs> <laughs> Two to three days. <laughs> yeah. Let, let's nah. do that. <laughs> we might do these two, I think. Yeah. The lookout and the water hole. Yeah. So, yeah. 45 minutes yeah. So there's a big, there's a huge. That's three days. Yeah, no. We've come to the Okri, is it Okri Pits? Um, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. It's like the um, the dye that the uh, Aboriginals used to use for their paintings. So we're coming down to have a look. I think it's, it's like, uh, I don't know, what, 15, 20 k's on further from Ormiston Gorge? Yeah. Mm -hmm. like. hmm. What was that? Something just went. Do, 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 do. Bang! <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> do, 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 do. let's go. These are the ochre pits where the Aboriginals used to come to get their uh, ochre so they could mix it with uh, animal fat and stuff like that um, to mix it up and uh, just paint themselves for their, um, their ceremonies and ceremonies, stuff. Ceremonies, yep. And they also rolled it with uh, eucalyptus leaves and apparently it's uh, it heals ailments mm. and yeah. um, so it has a few uses yeah. and um, it's actually quite beautiful. The colours throughout this whole pit. Is amazing. So we're down here at Glen Helen Gorge. Glen Helen Gorge. And you can access that through the Glen Helen Caravan Park, Discovery Park. And uh, yeah, it's just a little walk along here. And we'll just show you around. It's a nice little gorge. Yeah. A beautiful backdrop. Beautiful escarpment. Okay.
so we're at Red Bank Gorge and it's a 1.2k one way walk so we're off and racing <laughs> nice day for walking because it's cool it is So if you're uh, coming into Red Bank Gorge, it's a bit of a rock scramble. So if you're unsure on your feet, it's a, it's a bit of a uh, scramble. So the most of it is through riverbeds and uh, the bit of bedrock and stuff like that. So <clears throat> yeah, but it's only 1.3 k's in or something, isn't it? 1.2. 1.2. So it's not that far. You can rest on the rocks and you know, take your time getting in but if you're unsure on your feet that'll be a bit of a uh, bit of a test well, we hope you enjoyed that episode we, we did, did. <laughs> and uh, as you can see we uh, camped on the Fink River off grid but there is a caravan park out there at uh, Glen Helen, which, Glen Helen which has its own gorge which we went to and visited yeah, it's beautiful. and the backdrop from the caravan park is beautiful very very so, we, like, we like camping on rivers so yeah. and there's a few options out there uh, almost and gorge also has a low cost camp free camp whatever you want to call it yep. so yeah there's a few other options but the pink river was beautiful and um, we had campfires there and the river as tony said in the video wasn't running but it, it still had water in it yep. and it a pelican yeah but uh as I say, every uh, episode, at the end of every episode, please like and subscribe, it helps our channel. And thanks so much for watching, uh, you guys are awesome, we've really enjoyed all the comments that everyone's been putting up, uh, so please keep it up, we yeah. really like the feedback and uh, it sort of just, it gives us an idea too of what people sort of, you know, are thinking of our videos, so. Hmm. So. Thanks again. Hooray. Hooray.